Hello, I've created a MCP server for WinCC Unified, which is based on the GraphQL server. So the all available functions of the GraphQL server are now exposed as an MCP server. So and with the MCP server, we can then use it in, for example, cloud desktop application. But well, MCP servers will also be supported and can, can also be used in other large language models applications, let's say. And yeah, let's try it out, how this works. So let's see how I can query my data with Cloud, with the MCP server. So, um, okay, let's give me a list of active alerts. Let's see what it does. Okay, it calls the function get active alerts without a filter and so. Yeah, we have some alerts. Okay, cool. Can you give me um, a tag which is like the uh, which is like the tag, like the name tag one doesn't matter. So I want to find a tag which is named tag1, but I do not know how exactly it is named in WinCC Unified. Uh, and it has found two, okay, fine. And just to note, this is this tag here, what we see in the screen. Okay, uh, give me the current value of the tag. Okay, gives me the current value. Nice with quality and everything else. Now, and now let's set this tag to value 100. So take a look on this here. On the right side, let's see if it is able to write to the tag. Yeah, it has it done very well. Okay, okay. can you find a tag? Which tells me the current PV production. Well, it's crazy. A browse object with a filter. I assume, I think it, he will not find anything. Ah, here, now. He found some. Ah, a lot of things. Energy production, current power production. Well, it's quite really nice. Okay, give me a plot of the P4 power, but act of the last 10 minutes. You, I will give him a hint here because in Unified we need to query logging text for that. You will need to find a logging tag for this tag. Okay, well, it already tries to find and browse logging tags. Let's see. Perfect, I found the logging tag. Okay. Well, you see the data. Okay. It seems it creates some kind of a script. Let's see what will happen now. Well, we have a lot of values. But I said only the last 10 minutes. It seems it has queried a way more values. Let's see what, what it has executed here. Well, oh, 10 minutes, right? But interestingly, it did not really query the last 10 minutes. It started from 7 a.m., interestingly. But let's see the outcome. Oh, cool. It really has created a chart, yeah. 
not really at the last 10 minutes, but anyhow, maybe I have to adjust my prompt a little bit for that. And I see the current power, average, peak power, minimum power. There's also an analysis here. Oh, really cool, really nice. Yeah. Let me ask one last question. What is the current power frequency, frequency, and is it in a valid range? Yeah, it is getting the frequency spot, 50 hertz, let's see. Yeah, that's true. Maybe the tag was at that point in time exactly at 50. Validity check, okay, current frequency, perfectly. Valid range of European power grids, yeah. So that really works really well. So yeah, I'm really surprised, surprised how, how well this works. Thanks for watching.